of fall is here, and it's full of great smells and scents. Not to mention the great weather Mickey's talking about changing this week. Uh, but how can that motivate us? Here to talk more about that is leadership trainer, author, public speaker, Pete Blank, with more on the smells in general, tied to emotions. I'm blocking the logo. I'm sorry, man. You're okay. <laughs> it's quite all right. Uh, we'll take a cut out of your pay, which is nothing. Um, so, but the smells here, they're already getting me. Right. The cool thing about smells is smells in, in general, they bring back emotions. Mm -hmm. They bring back um, things that you remember as a kid. And believe it or not, uh, there are fall smells that really enhance and make us excited and make us make us motivated. They do, and uh, yeah. for, particularly for people who live in areas we just talked about, where you have the changing of the seasons. Right, right. And it, we have this thing now that's called anticipatory nostalgia. Good. And what I mean by that is we get so excited for each season when it comes, we get excited for fall because of all the new things and the new smells and how it makes us feel. The problem is, and I'm not going to put too much on retail, but people start getting freaked out because fall's almost over. I'm almost, it's going on right now, but but because of all the Christmas stuff that's yeah, out there, yeah. you're like, I have to hurry and enjoy fall before it ends. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage people to get some of these smells out there. So and you're saying like pump the brakes and let's enjoy what we've got. Right, here. right. So, so here's some examples. Okay. When you talk about things like nutmeg, cinnamon, oh, yeah. pumpkin spice, where do you stand on pumpkin spice? As I, far I'm as not a big pumpkin spice person, yeah. but I'm not going to hate on anybody who does if who, you enjoy it. And you enjoy it. You've also got wood leaves, pies, fire, and a good oh, fireplace yeah. smell. Oh, yeah, fire pit smell. It's yeah. going to bring that back. Absolutely. And the data shows, believe it or not, when you're outdoors and walking outside, the science says that the decaying plant material and the leaves that fall down, they emit a certain type of odor that brings back nostalgia to you and makes you feel good and then and, and smell good. So even the dead leaves outside mm -hmm. are kind of bringing back all the good, all the good things. Sort of that crisp air, it just adds to, it enhances it basically. Well, there's less molecules in the air, there's less stuff to compete with the fresh air and your smell, so you're getting a lot of the good smells in as well. And this is true, okay. when it comes to fall smells, particularly the words comfortness and coziness always come in. So when you think about smelling a fireplace or smelling a pumpkin or smelling apple cinnamon, you get the feeling of warmth and cozy and blankets and, you know, mm -hmm. snuggling up. And so if you really need to get motivated this time of year, my wife went and bought all the candles. <laughs> Our house now so. smells like a giant, like a giant cinnamon factory. Yes. But it makes her feel warm and cozy and all connected. Right. So smells can motivate you this year. Stop. Stop and smell instead of the roses and the pumpkins, pumpkins. and the and the apple spice apple and spice. the cinnamon nutmeg yes yes <laughs> which i don't know it may smell good with what's going on uh, coming up a little bit later in the kitchen absolutely that's, that's a good message though that's for sure thanks buddy thank you Pete. Right, see you